Oh, fine. That helps a good deal. Now, what? Now, we've just ruled out <coughs> entertainment, sports, political matters. Would you be in the society columns of the newspapers? Yeah. With an answer like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what modern society has come to. That's not high society. <laughs> Did we establish what society uh, our... British. British society. <laughs> <laughs> no Explain offense. That. Are you in Britain, peer of the realm? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Boy, have you been emancipated. <laughs> My friends on the panel every Sunday to blindfold themselves, and Miss Arlene Francis is blindfolding herself. <laughs> I'm tying one on, as they say. <laughs> But, Jane, we've worked together. When, dear? It must have been terribly private. <laughs> Question about the beard, because it is so fascinating. How long did it take for it to get that long? Oh, about eight or nine months. Oh, John, Beautiful. don't you wish you could? <laughs> is, this a, is this a television program that has uh, at its head either a male or female star? Funny about that. Well, that'll get you, yes. And then you won't know any more than you did before. Yes. Well, because it could be just a loose spectacular. <laughs> Catch them for flavor, taste, odor, oh, etc. Oh, I see. Miss Galgallon? I just love sardines, but I was just wondering, after the 149th, how can you tell? The it sardines could, tell her. It could be a monster, <laughs> shall we say. You said you had something to do with the executive department and you wear blue. Would you ever perform your services in or about the White House? No. No? He's a Democrat, obviously. <laughs> 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 might come in, a, in barrels or Can. in cans, but it's non-alcoholic. Non what? Root beer. Root beer yeah. in barrels? Maybe it's just a detergent. <laughs> <laughs> Is this something that might be served as a refreshment at a party? Yes, sometimes a party. A square party, this is. <laughs> <laughs> Not used above? Not the used above the waist, unless they're high-waisted, of course. <laughs> Usually be not seen by... And it's below the waist. <laughs> is it ever worn below or worn or found below the knee? No. <laughs> Six down and four to go. <laughs> okay, That's a long the one. The the <laughs> Do they come two by two? Do they, they come Noah's two Ark by two? Did <laughs> <laughs> you hear what Arlene said? She said, I have a Noah's Ark contract. <laughs> Does it make things that are useful in both peace and war? No. No. Well, then it must be something that is useful in time of war. Ah, Since that's everything is useful in time of peace. <laughs> is it anything that we import from Scotland ever? Yes. Well, let's have a little of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Laurel, when you have these people that come to you for your service, might you demonstrate something for them, show them something? Loosely, yes. Oh, you show it to them loosely. Oh, I say. <laughs> Would it be comfortable if you sat on it? Yes, very comfortable. <laughs> Is it uh, solid? Solid. Yes. But... <laughs> <laughs> I got a bucket of water. <laughs> Are you male? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that falsetto was... From that sound, you should be a little squirt. <laughs> Are you a brunette? Sometimes. <laughs> True of so many of us. <laughs> Would you be considered an actress? <laughs> Somebody just fell down. Are you a lady? No. <laughs> well, sir, a gentleman that get whistles, huh? Yeah. You would too, Walter, you know. Oh, thank you very much. Are you, uh, are you in motion pictures as an actor? Yes. Mr. Smith? <laughs> you can play both parts. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is in the nature of clothing, is it? Yes. If we accept that connotation in its broadest possible sense. How broad can clothing be, Mr. Davis? Depends on the shape you're in. <laughs> <laughs> bigger than horses. 
Yes. yes. Are they rather prickly when you sit on them? <laughs> Tell you what I mean if you got All right, what do you think. mean? Elephants. You should belt them. They keep them shaved all the time. <laughs> I rode one once for charity in Madison Square Garden, and I tell That's you... That's why they were pricklers. <laughs> Would this product be likely to be found in the average American household? I think so. Oh, wait a minute. You've got an affirmative answer there. I put some qualification to it. Well, would Mr. Daly's, uh, I, I'm not asking you to understand. I'm not asking you to understand Mr. Daly any more than you see him on the surface, but do you think you might find this in Mr. Daly's household? <laughs> no, well, that'll suit you, Mr. Francis. Well, now I don't know whether it's below average or above average in John's <laughs> mind. Is it something that you might hold in your hand? Yes. But not in John's house. <laughs> Is it uh, something a man could give a girl? Be like <laughs> It'll be attached to the head anyway. <laughs> I guess we would have to agree that you could describe it as being attached to the head, yes. It could be anything. Glass eye or... Uh, well, I'll take... Uh, is it... Uh, around the... Uh, Some woman around? in the audience has one. <laughs> answer made by a, a feminine voice. Miss Francis? Is she in a cage? <laughs> it's, unbelievable. It's, it's Frank Gifford, not Newton. Newton is his middle name. We uh -huh. thought we'd intrigue That's you with that one. Truly. Stubby and I both thought football the minute he walked out, and then we proceeded to dismiss it instantly. <laughs> well, I, I think that Newton threw me. Well, that's what, Stubby, we were hoping Newton would throw you, and it's... And if he can throw me, it's a good throw. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. That was Newton's theory. I wasn't going to say that. Probably better done in Texas than anywhere else. Everything yes. Better yeah. done in Texas. Yes, I do. Do you touch them below the waist? Too? Yes, I do. Are these mostly women? Yes. Do they wear anything other than ordinary street clothes while this is going on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Earmuffs. <laughs> Can your services be available to both men and women? As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> no, I think so. As far as you're concerned, it should just be men. <laughs> Will you phrase the question once again so that I can give you a nice, polite... Are your services useful to both males and females? Yes. Mrs. Quonset just said yes, John. You'll have to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dubious. Yes, that's all right, doctor. Is, uh... is, is it something that's grown in California? Well, he should know no, what he does. That's right, Mr. Nash. No, it is not grown. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. It's just made in California. Yes. <clears throat> so many people are. Is it? <laughs>